Hello, everyone. This is Jim Okrasinski with your week three screencast video. So as the reflective essay uh, wraps up tonight, Sunday, October 1st, next week we begin uh, working on the cultural artifacts essay. So I just want to remind everybody about the free open educational resource, uh, your textbook. The OpenStax Writing Guide. You can find the link to the Writing Guide in the course menu here. And this week we are going to begin with Chapter 2. So I urge you all to log in, register for your free copy of the textbook, um, and read through uh, the introduction and Section 2.1 in the textbook. And then we'll talk a little bit more about structure and ideas behind a cultural artifact essay in the lecture video this week. Discussion board three will be due on Friday, so hopefully we'll work through the lecture video and some of the content so you'll be able to begin work on determining what a cultural artifact would be for you. So I want to jump to the course unit here, into the artifact unit. As you will see here, here's the link again to the open stacks. When you have your own version and you're registered, you can uh, begin to um, highlight. You can even annotate uh, some thoughts about certain sections that we'll be working on during the, this remaining semester. So I want to remind everybody, this is a 12-week class, and it's going to move along pretty quickly. All right. So I have a section here explaining exactly what a discourse community is, and I'm going to come back to that in about a minute. Um, one thing I do want to point out is the actual essay assignment. This is our target assignment at the end of this particular unit. Uh, your um, cultural artifacts essay final draft is due Sunday, October 22nd, end of day. So uh, the purpose here is to recognize the importance of lived experiences and a role those experiences play in shaping you who you are. In other words, developing your identity. So we want you to uh, analyze and reflect on a culture, could be an ethnic culture, depending upon what artifact is important to you, or even a discourse community, because we belong to many discourse communities as we negotiate our way through life. And perhaps there might be something that would uh, be uh, significant to you. So the audience is pretty straightforward, a general audience, either your classmates or family. And really, you have to develop the skills here to evaluate your lived experiences and identify a cultural artifact, analyze the cultural and personal significance, also describe the artifact so others, including myself, can um, visualize in a brief history. So your task here is to choose an artifact that symbolizes something about a culture to which you belong and write a personal essay about that cultural artifact describing and explaining the personal, personal and cultural significance while offering a brief history or background, right? This is not a history paper. This is about the artifact. The focus of this essay is the artifact and what role it's played in shaping you into who you are, right? This is a personal essay using a narrative style to describe, inform, and explain the structure that allows for the audience to understand the significance. Usually what happens is, is you have to develop your... You know, clear paragraphs with topics and transitions, um, um, usually a, a chronological ordering sometimes works best for this particular um, essay assignment. So <clears throat> you have to provide those lived experiences to support the significance of your artifact. Once again, I want to stress that the artifact is the focus and it's your relation with that artifact. So this essay is going to be a minimum of a thousand words. And this is going to be due on October 22nd. All right, that's about all I have here for uh, this week's screencast video. Once again, discussion board number three is not due until Friday. Uh, look about Wednesday or so for the lecture video. If you have any questions or issues, please send me an email.